Welcome everyone to our webinar today. We're going to talk about how you can store less data and speed up your online backup. My name is Pam Gaisley and I'm going to be your moderator today. And I am joined by Nathan Bradbury. Nathan is a senior solutions engineer here at Intronis. And he is here to bring you up to speed on IntelliBlox, which allows our partners to store more data without taking up a lot of storage space. Uh, with that being said, you, you know, I always like to start by talking a little bit about the Introna solution, you know, ultimately uh, what we're offering and, and what we're all about. So Intronus is a leader in cloud backup and disaster recovery. Our, our mission, as it always has been, is to help make managed service providers more successful in delivering the world's best uh, cloud-based backup solution for resellers to ultimately serve small and medium-sized businesses. And with that being said, you know, we see a lot of our technology being used across a wide breadth of customers. So it's not as though we're just kind of compartmentalizing ourselves and saying, you know what, you only go ahead and service this small customer with insurance. We actually talk to a lot of partners every day that are servicing customers that are very large in scale, anywhere between, you know, one computer right on up to, you know, 10,000 plus seats that are out there. So what's nice about the Intronus product is it's kind of a really great scalability factor, and we can really go ahead and can help partners throughout that entire ecosystem. With that being said, I always like to talk a little bit about our value prop, and you know, why Intronus? What's, what's so great about you guys? Well, you know, Intronus is 100% dedicated to serving to the channel, which basically means that we're not reselling to other companies, or when I mean other companies, I mean direct end users. And it's a huge value to partners because they're not competing with their vendor. So, for example, like if you go to our website, you're not going to see any pricing information. And that's hugely powerful for a lot of partners because they're able to go ahead and charge the appropriate amounts for the service based on the value add that they're going ahead and providing. For a lot of insurance partners, they're using our central managed portal, which is really easy to use and it's accessible through the website. We've got a whole bunch of great webinars and demo demonstrations on that, so you'll definitely want to be sure that you go ahead and you check that out a little bit later. As far as the product itself, we offer a white labeling so that we can go ahead and make the product your own. So it's not as though you're just taking a solution that Intronus is offering and offering Intronus a solution. You're actually offering your own solution. And again, it lets you go ahead and add a little bit more value to that solution uh, that you're pushing out to your customers. We also provide a lot of guidance to our partners on when they initially come on board through our onboarding process. So we like to go ahead and make sure that you are as successful as possible, you know, providing you some of those HIPAA and FINRA uh, regulations and how the Intronus uh, product goes ahead and adheres, and lots of other compliant information that's available inside there. Uh, today, as far as some vital statistics, we've got over 3,000 partners worldwide, and we're backing up data from more than 60,000 end users. Uh, as far as our partner retention rate, generally we see over 90% partner retention rate. Basically, our partners sign on with us and they just continue to go ahead and stay on and stay on and stay on with us. All right, so let's go ahead and get over the company. Actually, one more last company slide here. I spoke too soon. So as far as the technology goes, we've got data centers that are uh, both on the United States as well as outside the United States. So if you're servicing customers that are both inside and outside the United States, uh, we can actually have you covered for those various uh, regulations that are out there. Uh, as far as, you know, availability, it's a really crucial factor for our partners. You know, with data that's up in the Intronus cloud, am I going to be able to go ahead and get it back? And the answer is yes, you will be able to. Uh, as far as the overall technology, we've got a lot of really great pieces uh, that add both to the flexibility for things like SQL backups, exchange backups, system state, VMware, uh, but we also go ahead and we allow partners to go ahead and leverage a lot of their existing tools as well. Uh, things like uh, API integrations, professional services automation tool integration, uh, remote monitoring platform integration, go ahead and assist our partners. So today we're going to be talking about how we can go ahead and improve recovery points through backups, how we can go ahead and ensure reliability, and ultimately how we can go ahead and have data available for a long period of time or, you know, adjusting that data retention period. So let's start with recovery points. So what's really common for businesses is that they're going ahead and, you know, they're doing backups as they go along. And as they start to talk to their customers, they start to find out, you know, this recovery point really wasn't the right option. 
So for a lot of customers, we find you know they'll typically start with say a 24-hour recovery point objective, and, and that's sometimes good enough. But you know, a lot of cases it's just not. And that's where we go ahead and we start to talk about you know not just having backups occur every 24 hours, but having backups occur more frequently. And in some cases, we need to go ahead and we need to lower that recovery point objective, maybe down to two hours or so. And that's really where the Intronus technology steps in because we can go ahead and we can actually allow you to go ahead and not have to be stuck with that 24-hour recovery point objective. We can go ahead and start to uh, lower it down for you. As far as the industry outside, we're finding that there is a huge demand to go ahead and lower these recovery point objectives. And it used to be, you know, if the system was down for 24 hours and, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. Or if, you know, the system crashed and we lost 24 hours worth of data, it wasn't a big deal. But as you can see, some statistics here is that now it's starting to become unacceptable. And even as far as, you know, two hours, is starting to become unacceptable. That means that we have to allow backups, or we have to shorten our backup recovery window to go ahead and allow for backups to occur every two hours. And for a lot of solutions, it's a very demanding task, especially if we're talking about trying to swap out tapes every two hours and put them in and out and in and out. It's just not going to happen. Even with autoloader systems, it can start to become a real challenge with inside there. So when we start to talk about meeting those recovery point objectives, typically tape is the most common uh, backup medium, especially when we talk about long-term retention. And, you know, as we start to talk about re tightening up these recovery point objectives, it's a lot about finding the right technology to allow you to do these more frequently, frequent backups. Uh, if you're backing up customers' data to tape, you're going to have some serious challenges when you try to shorten up that recovery point objective. Or you're going to be forced to add additional pieces in, like a disk to disk unit or something along those lines. Uh, manual tape backups means, <clears throat> excuse me, manual tape backups mean backups could occur less frequently. And if you do increase the frequency of tape backups, performing a full backup each time will even require more storage. Uh, basically meaning that you're going to have to go ahead and pop in lots and lots of tapes, and you, you really have to be on top of that. And the amount of time that you're going to end up spending, you know, transporting these tapes back and forth and so forth, uh, is going to really mean that ultimately you've got a nice drawn out RTO. We'll cover that a little bit later. As far as the Intronus product, what's really great is that we start to allow you to go ahead and automate that process. And it allows partners to have backups occur really as frequently as they feel is appropriate, whether it's you know every 15 minutes, every 10 minutes, every two hours, whatever it may be. And because you know we basically have this unlimited scalability where you know as long as you can go ahead and get that data off site, you can have as many recovery points as you want. And as we start to talk about you know, what the IntelBlox technology does, it basically allows us to go ahead and pull out those changes and shoot them up to the cloud in a very efficient manner. The Intronus IntelBlox technology essentially is a, a change block tracking technology. And what it basically does is goes in, scans through files, looking for which change within inside them, and goes ahead and pushes them up. And that ultimately means when you go ahead and you do store these recovery points and you've got a lot of recovery points occurring over you know, a fairly long period of time, it's not going to take up nearly as much storage as a traditional method. It also helps reduce the amount of time it takes to go ahead and perform those backups. Because the technology is so efficient at going ahead and pulling up those changes, we're talking about kilobits worth of data that's getting pushed up instead of megabytes or even potentially terabytes worth of data. Very, very efficient technology. All right. So let's talk a little bit about reliability. You know, ultimately, when we go ahead and we look at reliability, there's going to be three primary factors that, you know, come into, you know, do I even need to go ahead and get this data back? And, you know, human error is probably going to be that number one factor inside there. It could be as simple as, you know, hey, I deleted this file with inside here or something along those lines. Or it could be something along the lines of an external attack. And, and here's a great demonstration of you know, where a lot of those issues come in. Software corruption causes 13% of data loss. Human error causes 29%. Hardware failure causes 40%. That's dramatic, especially when you start to talk about off-siting data. You know, reliable backups are the key. Uh, tape's not always reliable. In fact, a tape is susceptible more so to human error and hardware failure than any other product. And it's really because it's a tangible item. 
where you can go ahead and you can move it from location A to location B. The customer can go ahead and touch it. The customer can accidentally go ahead and drop it in a puddle. The customer can go ahead and leave it in a hot car on a seat where it's, where it's getting melted. All these types of factors end up contributing to the overall lack of reliability. When we start to talk about recovery points, you know, why do we ultimately need these recovery points? And let's start to talk a little bit more about the retention. Do you know, we oftentimes see software corruption as being a pretty major part, and as we can see here, you know, 13% of data, re data recovery situations come from software corruption. And this could be as simple as, you know, you're running a database application and someone enters a malformed piece of information in there and just causes a cascading effect actually a very common occurrence in a, in a lot of customer situations. Similarly, if you have a file on your machine, it gets corrupted. Our, our software will doubtfully back it up just like any other will. So it's important to be able to have multiple versions for a file to be able to go ahead and recover that data back. All right. Talking a little bit more about the IntelliBlox technology, this is where we actually get to give you a little bit better view into it. And what's nice about the IntelliBlox technology is it's basically our emulated change block tracking technology. So what the Intronus product does is it allows you to go ahead and scan through your files at a very granular level. It's actually one of the lowest levels that are possible on a file level. And as we go ahead and we scan through that file, we go ahead and we identify file pieces by basically creating a, an algorithm inside there. And that algorithm basically gives us information about those pieces of those files. And what's really cool is that as those files are getting changed and backed up and updated and sent up to our servers and living on the servers, we actually can go ahead and verify that information all the way through its life cycle. So it's one of the reasons why we have one of the highest availability ratings in the industry, because we were able to go ahead and follow that information through that file and those changes and go ahead and shoot them on up to the Intronus Cloud. A great example of this is I oftentimes have a, a 50 gig VMware system that's being backed up. It's a small XP workstation, nothing too crazy. It's not frequently used, but it's used enough. And as we go ahead and have hourly backups occur on that system, I typically find that on average only about a meg and a half is actually getting transferred up. So for the scale that that image is and the small amount of data, it's really tremendous power for partners to be able to go ahead and have those recovery points occur every hour in that case, but also be able to go ahead and store a significant amount of those recovery points uh, right on up. All right, so let's talk a little bit about long-term data retention history. And this really goes hand in hand with all these recovery points and archiving periods and so forth. And ultimately, long-term data retention is really crucial for a lot of regulations. HIPAA compliance, FINRA, SOX, Grim Leach, a lot of those different organizations in you know, SOX and Dodd-Frank are great examples of where long-term retention is required, where you need to go ahead and keep a certain number of years. And we're very fortunate that the IntelliBlox technology helps us in this process because we're able to go ahead and store versioning history over that time period, but we're also able to allow them to go ahead and recover data back that is six, seven years old. And it's really IntelliBlox technology that's continually verifying that data on our backside to say, yeah, here's a file from six years ago, from, from six years and 364 days where <laughs> you need to go ahead and produce that data from that time period. A lot of common industries have these requirements. And you know, the auditing is getting worse and worse. And, and I mean that in a positive way, in that they're getting more and more strict in saying, OK, I need you to go ahead and produce this medical record from five and a half years ago. And if a company can't produce it, they're in pretty big trouble. And also from a, the perspective of data breaches, they're also getting much more severe. And they're enforcing much higher punishments and a dollar value. And it's not as though they're just afflicting the individual organization. They're actually also going after a lot of the IT companies that recommended the solution that was out of adherence. So it's nice that the Intronus product can go ahead and kind of help the partners through this process and make sure that they do actually fit into the adherence of the products. All right, so let's take a hey, look Jason? at, you know, how this. Yes, Pam, go right ahead. Yeah, well, with respect to the um, data retention, we did get a question. Uh, somebody did ask, um, how many versions does Intronus store? 
Yeah, that's a Versions really great question. Yeah, it, it's actually user configurable. So a lot of Intronos partners are dealing with compliance industries where their partners don't want to have to support multiple backup solutions, whether it be for local or uh, cloud storage. So Intronos allows the customer to go ahead and customize those to really meet whatever their needs are. So in the case of HIPAA here for six years for medical records or uh, Sawbox, we allow customers to go ahead and store six, seven, ten. In some cases, we have partners that have been storing data with us for the last ten years and we still have versions that they can go ahead and revert back through. So there's no limitation on the product as far as how far back they can go. It's really as far back as you would like. Thanks. Absolutely. So let's take a look at this Intronus backup technology. And in a traditional manner, typically, you know, if you have the word back and you go ahead and you add up, you'd actually find that pretty much that whole entire file would go ahead and get transferred up to a tape. And if you're dealing just with tapes or you're dealing with just with hard disks, that, that isn't necessarily a big deal. I mean, you've got LAN speeds, gigabit, 10 gig. It's probably not a big deal. It'll take you know a couple seconds to go ahead and get that file over. But if we start to talk about virtualized files where we're dealing with files that are 50 gigs, this can actually be a pretty big deal especially when we go ahead and extrapolate that out and push it up to the cloud. Trying to go ahead and push a 50 gig image every day up to the cloud, it's just not going to happen. So what the Intronus product really does is it allows us to go ahead and see that file that's changed to back up and actually go ahead and just take those last two characters there, those up, and actually shoot them right on up to the Intronus cloud. So now we're just taking those last two little bytes inside there and sending them up instead of the whole entire file. And you can just go ahead and take this process and just keep going and going and going. And all we're doing is we're just taking the change, excuse me, changes and just shooting them right on up to the Intronus cloud. It really makes for a highly effective and a very quick backup. Again, 50 gig image, pushing up meg and a half, and then my backups take about two minutes to go ahead and run. All right. What this ends up leading to for partners is ultimately a really nice long-term data retention history. Again, we've got the flexibility where we can go ahead and keep you know, one version. You can go ahead and keep multiple versions. And it's entirely up to you. And what's really cool is that you can start to segment out retention history as well. So that if you have a, that VM image where you want to go ahead and back up the cloud with maybe a seven-day retention, we can go ahead and back up granular data within that image and keep it locally for seven years. And you can take a lot of similar approaches like that with a lot of the different backups that are available within the Intronus product. Ultimately, the big bullet point here is that it minimizes speed and allows for faster backups as well as the restores. And we really haven't covered that topic a heck of a lot inside here, but that's another really big aspect to this. In traditional manners, you know, when you go ahead and you get data back and you're trying to get long-term history back, it can take a while, especially if you're shipping your tapes out to some other third-party service provider where if you need a version or you need some archival data, well, it's going to take a week, maybe two, to go ahead and get that. Intronus is really unique in that we allow you to go ahead and grab all that data very quickly, have all those recovery points right from the cloud, and you don't have to deal with all that hassle. It really makes dealing with those customers in those compliance-based industries much, much easier. And of course, best of all, allow users to restore, restore specific file versions from specific data. So where does the Intronus technology go ahead and really start to take effect, especially on the Intelliblock side? Well, you know, this is going to go ahead and affect Hyper-V images. It's going to go ahead and affect SQL Server, Exchange, SharePoint, System State, VMware data, files, folders, you name it. Every bit, every byte of data that the Intronus product goes ahead and touches, it goes ahead and leverages this Intelliblock technology. And it becomes really effective for partners, again, to keep lots and lots of versions and have lots of recovery points and be able to frequently take these backups without affecting the customer system. And in fact, when this technology goes ahead and takes place, a lot of times customers don't even know the backups are occurring. So what are some of the key takeaways that we want to go ahead and talk about? Tighter recovery point objectives, absolutely. You're able to go ahead and have smaller backup windows because the backups are able to go ahead and run faster, which allows you to run them more frequently. And ultimately, you're able to go ahead and have a longer-term data retention history. When we take a look at the reliability of data, because there's a huge elimination of the human element inside there, and there's a verification that's taking place, and there's additional replication, and there's all this other stuff that's taking place inside there, it makes the backups significantly more reliable. 
Right off of that, we're able to go ahead and eliminate 30% of risk inside there, which just automatically makes the online backup much more reliable than most other technologies that are out there. So with that, I wanted to go ahead and transfer over and, and find out what questions we had and what questions I can answer for us today. Well, um, we did have one question about um, somebody who must have been on our website, Nathan. Uh, wanted to sort of understand the difference between IntelliBlocks and how it relates to QuickSpin and whether or not it relates to QuickSpin at all. Yeah, great question. And, and yes, it does. So uh, for those that don't know, uh, QuickSpin is our VMware product. It is uh, one of the available features that provides a replication-like functionality. So it allows you to replicate virtual machines from one VMware infrastructure to a completely isolated infrastructure uh, without any type of shared storage. And yes, that product actually does leverage our IntelliBlocks technology. And every software release we go ahead and we push out, we make enhancements to that IntelliBlocks technology to be able to shrink the block size that's getting pushed out, to expand out the file size that we're able to go ahead and support, how fast that technology works. And the QuickSpin product is really you know, the culmination of a lot of different features inside the product, and especially the enhancements to that IntelliBlocks technology. And ultimately, it really does allow for those incredibly quick restores and incredibly quick backups uh, just because we are so effectively using the underlying VMware architecture and we're using a lot of the, the typical technologies you'd see with uh, the VMware product where you're leveraging their change block tracking technologies or leveraging their vStorage API but then we're leveraging our IntelliBlocks technology that we've customized specifically to go ahead and deal with that VMware data in its, in its format so that we can again just make those backups even faster and faster and faster. Great. Um, and then we had another question uh, around um, integration. Uh, we, we get this a frequent, a frequent question on whether or not we integrate with um, Autotask and some of the other popular PSAs and RMM tools. Yeah, we actually have quite a few integrations that are out there. Um, some that are available from the respective manufacturers' websites, some that are available from ours. Uh, the Intranos product does support ConnectWise and Autotask for both billing and ticketing automation. We support Kaseya, we support LabTech, we support um, level platforms, Enable, GFI, most of the major uh, remote monitoring platforms out there for uh, monitoring and automated ticket creation as well as software deployment. And then, of course, we've got our management portal that, that allows partners to go ahead and entirely remotely without any customer access, be able to create backup sets, run restorations, manage alerts, and so forth. Great. Um, and I was also, another question was, um, you know, are there any best practices on determining what should be backed up locally versus in the cloud or both? Yeah, great question, Pam. So really that's where our, the Intronus onboarding team is able to go ahead and help our partners. And we've got a really great onboarding team that kind of walks the partners through the first well, typically 60 to 90 days of service. But as part of that, typically uh, they've got some sessions inside there where they can go ahead and work with partners to really figure out you know, what's critical and what's non-critical. And this is typically a much larger topic that they get some disaster recovery and risk analysis and business awareness and so forth. But essentially in those sessions, they'll typically work with a partner to kind of figure out, you know, what their customer, typical customer looks like, you know, what is the customer's objectives, what are their line of business applications, and kind of help them um, kind of provide guidance on, you know, what should go local, what should go remote. And we also go ahead and provide some guidance on setting up these recovery points, you know, how frequently should you go ahead and run the backups, uh, as well as, you know, what your retention policies should look like inside there as well. And uh, we did get a question around, um, does the amount of data to be stored or backed up affect the application of this product? And I think that um, they're asking whether or not you store, you, we can store large audio or x-ray files effectively. Yeah, so the Intronus product really doesn't have a limitation on the type or the size of file that we can go ahead and process. 
Um, so if you're working with a medical imaging software where there's thousands and millions of images being created, that's not a problem. You can just point the Intron software over and we can go ahead and we can back that data up without a problem. Uh, the IntelliBlox technology certain will, certainly will go ahead and take effect on there. So you can go ahead and recover, you can create recovery points with inside there. Again, it, should they ever be audited, be able to go ahead and get that data back to the specific point to produce that for an auditor. Great, and um, someone's also asking if we offer data encryption. Yeah, great question. So it really goes hand in hand with any of those compliance regulations that are out there. So any data that's processed through the Intronus software, whether it be stored on our local backup destination or up in the Intronus cloud, is uniquely encrypted. Uh, typically we leverage AES 256-bit encryption, which is the baseline of pretty much all the compliances that are out there. Uh, to be able to go ahead and, again, uniquely create that, encrypt that data before it's getting sent anywhere. Um, great. And we did have a question from somebody who uh, is asking whether or not we have a trial. And I can answer that. We do. Uh, if you were to go to internus.com slash free trial, we have actually a new um, free trial uh, functionality, it actually lets you log into our management portal and start backing up files. So it's a really great way to experience firsthand how to brand your software, how to create your backups, how to, re uh, to recover your cover files and data. So I really encourage everyone uh, to go to internus.com slash free trial and take it for a test drive. And we did get another question around HIPAA compliance. Nathan, can you offer any insight into that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, there's been a lot of changes to HIPAA, especially over the last couple of years. Um, and, and the changes are good for patients. For technology providers, they've actually been pretty bad. <laughs> um, so there's a lot more encryption that's required. So. Uh, from a security standpoint and availability standpoint, uh, we do encrypt all the data prior to being transferred up to Intronus. As far as the availability perspective, we do replicate data between our two facilities, so we make sure that the data is available. From our document retention policy, we uh, again allow partners to go ahead and adjust how long they go ahead and maintain Intronus uh, data, which basically allows them to go ahead and meet the document retention policy. And there's a lot of other things that go into it as well. And we've actually found there's a, a, a quite a surge in business associate agreements and how auditors go ahead and view those business associate agreements. And we actually have no problems providing our partners any type of documentation or information about how we go ahead and uh, meet those compliances. And in fact, we actually have a great white paper on our website that you can actually find in the, in the resources and white paper section that talks specifically about HIPAA and several of the bullet points of you know, different factors that you should think of when you are evaluating solutions and uh, specifically how Intronus is able to go ahead and meet those as well for you. Yeah, and in addition to that white paper, we actually just produced an ebook too um, in partnership with uh, the 2112 group around backup and recovery um, for healthcare IT, which is a, a great resource for people to take advantage of too. Um, and of course, we did get the question that we always get um, little, I guess they want a little bit to know a little bit about how we price and then how do they then price it to their clients or sell it to their clients. Yeah, absolutely. That's a really great question. So as far as the insurance program works, is typically we work with our partners to go ahead and, and figure out what their storage needs are going to be. And our, our sales department does a really great job of going ahead and working with partners, whether it's going through their forecast numbers, whether it's taking a look at their existing customer base, or, or really figuring out what their needs are. And they'll basically go ahead and have customers go ahead and sign up for a, a block of storage, essentially. It's a minimum monthly storage commitment. And that point allows you to go ahead and store as much data as you would like. It's just there's a per gigabyte fee associated with it. The larger your minimum monthly commitment, the lower the price per gig becomes. As far as uh, pricing and marketing and selling that, again, our sales team generally does a great job at helping our partners out, go ahead and figure out how much to charge for the solution, uh, how you should be charging for it. And what's nice is that there's a lot of flexibility because the, uh, 
pricing between insurance and the partner and the partner and the customer are independent of each other. So we're going to be charging you for gigabytes of storage. You can be charging your customers for a number of computers. You can be charging them for up to a certain amount of storage. You can be charging them for users. You can be charging them for number of cars in the parking lot, number of buildings, square feet of building. It just doesn't matter, matter to the insurance organization. We're going to go ahead and provide you quite a bit of guidance on how you go ahead and build out your customers, but how you ultimately build them is entirely up to you. And, and again, that's where the onboarding team really starts to come in as well. Is they'll help kind of run through some of the best practices, what we've seen a lot of our successful partners go ahead and do, and you can go ahead and take that information or completely disregard it. <laughs> it's entirely up to you guys. Yeah, and just to add on to that is um, Nathan has talked a lot about our onboarding, but we also have a uh, U.S.-based technical support team that is proactive, and they are there to help you uh, when you sign up. So it's not just about getting you going. It's about keeping you going and optimized well. So they're available as well. So I think that's going to wrap things up. We wanted to keep this to uh, 30 minutes today. And uh, we encourage you to follow us on in Twitter. Our handle is Intronus Inc. Uh, we have a Facebook page as well as a LinkedIn group and a company page. So um, engage with us. Ask us questions. And um, also we have a blog which gets some great posts. It's, po it's updated two or three times a week. And we're getting some great uh, content going on there. And that's uh, blog.progress.com. And if you ever have a question, feel free to call us at 1-800. Five six nine zero one five five. So thank you, Nathan. Thank you for uh, giving a great presentation. I want to thank everyone else for joining.